Welcome to our ASC G1 test prep series. So I have an ASC G1 question for you to think about here a little bit. Technician A says spark plug gap does not need adjusted upon replacement. Well, technician B says that all need the gap set upon replacement. So who is correct? This video is sponsored by Autolite, manufacturers of high-quality spark plugs since 1935. Visit autolite.com for more information. Actually, neither, and here's why. So we've got to find out why is spark plug gap critical, and we've got to understand what it is. So the gap here is the distance between the center and side electrodes so that arcing occurs and that proper voltage ignites the fuel-air mixture and generates the combustion that makes the engine run. Now keep in mind, a larger gap is going to require a little bit of a higher voltage to be able to ignite that. Could cause a little bit of a misfire. And a smaller gap will give too small and weak of a spark inside that combustion chamber. So where do I get the information needed to find the correct gap sizing? One of the places we can possibly find that is on the Vecchi. That is the vehicle emission control information. And you go, well, what is that and where is that? That can usually be found underneath the hood on all vehicles. This is a very important emission control information. Some manufacturers will show that gapping right on the label. Some won't. Another place you could get that is possibly the owner's manual, auto parts store where you bought them, or in service manuals that you're going to be using on a regular basis. So when we're taking a look at a copper core plug right here in my hand, and of course, these are your more common ones that were out uh, for a long time. We want to be able to check and adjust the gap on these using the appropriate tool. After I found that information that I needed to gap this, we're going to set the gap on this to the correct one for the manufacturer. Right here, you'll see we can get these at any auto parts store or your local uh, truck will have one of these that comes to your shop on a regular basis. These on these will have different sizes listed on here. And after looking up the information for the car I'm working at, I'm going to need a gap of 45 thousandths. All right. So you'll look on here and you're going to see that you have different indications and different sizes on there. So we're going to use that and I'm going to start and going through and I've got 25, 30, and that's still too loose. I'm going to jump up over here to the 40. Still too loose. And if I take a look here, uh, I'm supposed to have 45, but I can't quite make that happen. So this tool is also going to be used to adjust that gap. It has a side on here where we're going to be able to put that on that center electrode and gently bend it back to get the gap that we so need to be able to get that 45 thousandths. And that's going to be how we're going to gap a copper core plug. Now, the second part of that question was, well, all of them need to be set. That's not necessarily true either. So when we're looking at today's more commonplace uh, iridium spark plugs, you're going to notice that the center electrode is much smaller, much more fine in detail. These plugs are typically pre-gapped from the manufacturer. They usually do not and are not recommended to be gapped upon installation of these plugs. It is always a good idea to make sure that they are properly at the gap set from the manufacturer and that's usually going to be marked right along inside the box just to make sure that they haven't been dropped or damaged upon uh, getting to your hands. So we had mentioned copper core and iridium spark plugs. We also do want to make sure we talk about the platinum plugs as well. Platinum plugs themselves are also typically pre-gapped do not require any adjustments. It is still recommended to make sure that the gap is set to that correct uh, adjustment before installation to verify that we have and will have correct combustion inside our engines. So remember anytime you're going to be replacing spark plugs, check the gap on them and adjust as required on the copper cores and making sure that the platinums and the iridiums are set where they need to be. This has been your ASC G1 test prep tip with tomorrow's technicians. My name is Joe Keen. We'll see you next time.